Hey there, Eli here from OSA Coventry coming at you again with another episode of What is a Coral? Where we're going to try to uh, crack at another species of coral today to get some uh, familiarity with it in the hobby. So today I wanted to hit on one of my favorite soft corals, which happens to be Blue Sympodium. Sympodium is a genus of corals that is in the family Xeniidae. So if you remember one of our previous videos about the Xenia family, Xenia anthelias, this is another coral that belongs to the same family. However, it does not share a lot of the same traits with these other corals that make, say, Xenia or Anthelia a little less desirable in a mixed reef setting. So usually a lot of the Xenid corals grow very quickly to the point where sometimes they're borderline invasive in a tank. And whereas the Sympodium is going to grow pretty well for most aquarists, it's just not nearly as invasive of a coral in most settings. So in terms of care for the uh, Blue Sympodium, it is a very easygoing coral, uh, but it does prefer a good amount of light and it will handle a decent amount of flow. Somewhere toward the top half of the tank is definitely a good placement for this coral and it benefits from a lot of light. You'll get some better coloration from it by placing it in some high light. As the name suggests, Blue Sympodium is blue. It is one of the only corals I've found that tends to be such a bright blue. Uh, where these blue lights that we run at the shop don't do it the best justice. Under the wider lighting spectrums, the flesh at the base of each polyp uh, is a very bright blue that you can see most of the time and uh, just kind of adds a nice pop of this color to the tank that you don't get from many other corals. Blue is definitely a more difficult color to come by in a lot of corals. As I mentioned earlier, this is a true soft coral being from the family Xeniidae. And as we suggest with most of the rest of the soft corals, that means running carbon, pyrogen, and other chemical medias in your filtration is a very good idea because a lot of the soft corals do push out toxins to help fight for space on the reef as they grow. A lot of the blue sympodium that you see for sale in our shop is actually grown at our farm down the road and it has proven to be a very hardy, fast growing strain and very bright in comparison to some other strains that I have seen. On that note, as for propagation, this should be a pretty easy coral to propagate for you. If grown on a tile, uh, you can basically cut through the flesh, chip the tile up, and uh, glue the pieces of tile down. And as long as the coral is already attached to the tile, you should get some pretty good success with making smaller fragments of this coral. If you are to fragment this coral to where each piece that you cut is not attached to a frag, like we recommended with mushroom corals and some of these other toadstools and leathers, just placing them in a cup full of um, coral rubble, uh, frag plugs in a low flow area of the tank for a week or two uh, is usually enough to get this coral to grab. And then you can glue uh, these smaller fragments down to a plug. Unlike most of the Zenid relatives, Blue Sympodium doesn't get as long stalks uh, to, per each polyp. They tend to cluster very tightly um, toward the base making them sometimes even resemble more a clove polyp, or even sometimes they get mistaken for goniaporas or flower pot corals in the shop just because their flower shape that is so tight to the base. Blue Sympodium is a very good, rewarding, hardy coral, likes the higher light and a decent amount of flow, uh, and should fit into most mixed reef settings uh, pretty well. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, and keep on reefing.